I know you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, another cooking video. Yes, bitch, another cooking video. You want to know why? Because some of y'all don't know how to cook, okay? So I do, and I'm going to show you guys that I know how to, period. Brown skin, pretty brown eyes, slim waist, but her hips kind of wide, thick thighs. She about 5'5 five five or about 5'6. Pretty tits and high legs cross when she sit. Hair was hanging by the inch, then she cut it off. Eyebrows on fleet, can't rub it off. No pencil, trap music in the Benz coop. With the What's poppin' second squad? It is girl K to the motherfucking Benz. These I'm Kiss Queen, and I'm back with another bitty titty. Oh, so today's video is another cooking video. Listen, let me tell you guys something. If your girl can't cook within this quarantine, when the quarantine's done, get a new girl because honestly, you can't be eating off radio every freaking day. You know what I mean? So you gotta switch it up a little bit. So today, what we're gonna be making is honey garlic salmon with um, mashed potatoes. Basically, with that, I'm gonna show you guys how I season my salmon, everything I put in it, also what temperature and how long to make it for as well. Um, if you guys did not see my most recent quarantine vlogs, make sure you guys go check them out. Link will be down below for you guys as well. Don't forget, hit that like button from now and hit the subscribe button from now with the bell to know when I post. But we're gonna get straight into this video. So before we start to season our salmon, we're gonna set our oven to 350 degrees. As you guys can see, salmon is out of the container. I did wash it with water and vinegar if you're craving, you know the drill. Some people use lemon as well. So first things first, we're gonna add all-purpose seasoning. Pour it in the cap because I have a heavy hand. We're then gonna take onion powder. We're gonna take some parsley flakes. We're then gonna take some basil leaves. And last but not least, we are going to take some paprika. And of course, the basic salt and pepper is also added as well. Just because we're basically going to be making like foil boats for a salmon, I'll show you guys what that is after. Um, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice to make sure that the seasoning sticks, but the salmon does not stick to the foil. And we're literally just going to mix it around, make sure it's all coated, both pieces. It might look really orange, but it's okay because you wanna make sure your salmon is nice and seasoned. And you also kinda wanna rub it in as well to get into the little nooks and crannies. <laughs> So basically, I'm just gonna let this season and marinate. I'm gonna basically let it marinate, I wanna stay for around an hour or so, just to make sure the salmon is nice and infused with the flavors. The last special ingredient that I like to add to my salmon is lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice, not anything from the concentrate brand or anything along the lines of that. So guys, this is my little sister Jazzy say, hey. <laughs> um, if you guys did not see our video together, so we did make bath bombs, right? Mm -hmm. So we made bath bombs, so make sure you guys go check that out. Link for that will be down below so you guys can see what we made, right? <laughs> so basically what we want to do is we kind of want to squish our lemon to get the juices flowing. Just because squeezing a lemon can kind of be hard to do. So we kind of want to roll this out a little bit just to make it a bit more softer to get the juices out better. So with our knife, we're just going to cut it in half. I like to kind of have my hands like this and I like to squeeze the lemon over. That way my fingers catch the seeds, but the juice seeps through my fingers. So I'd like to say the lemon does enhance the flavor of your salmon. It's up to you if you want to use only half, a quarter, the whole thing, honestly up to you. So I'm not gonna make this just yet, so I'm gonna turn off the oven. I'm just actually gonna let this marinate for around an hour just because I really want the seasonings to sit into the salmon. As you guys can see, the salmon's not even pink anymore, it's orange, so that's how you know shit's going down today. So I'm gonna let this marinate for an hour or so. And I'll be back for when it's time to actually cook it and I'll show you guys how I make my foil boats as well as where I get the honey garlic flavor from. So stay tuned. So we are basically back. What I did is I got a pan and I placed two pieces of foil within the pan for each piece of salmon. So all you're gonna do, so you're gonna take your one piece, you're just gonna lay it in the pan. Like so. See how I'm gonna make your honey garlic is I have a honey garlic sauce from Walmart and I'm just gonna basically pour it on the salmon. I'm just gonna take my honey garlic sauce and I'm just going to literally pour it over the salmon. I like my salmon sweet, so I'm gonna basically use a lot. And I know I mentioned to you guys that we're basically gonna make like a boat. I did complete one so you guys can kind of see how it looks and I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on how to do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our foil, then we're gonna take our salmon, we're gonna place it down in the foil. From there, we're just gonna take our honey garlic sauce and we're just gonna pour it on the salmon. This until it's nice and covered. What we're gonna do is fold up the edges, fold the front and back, and roll it down. So, fold the edges, take the front and the back, squeeze it together, and roll it down. So, go over it again, squeeze the edges, front and back, roll it down. And there you guys have it, our two little salmon boats, I guess you could call them. Basically what we're gonna do is I already set the oven, or my sister did, again. Um, we're gonna leave it in the oven for around 15 minutes. 
okay? This will allow your salmon to get flaky, nice and soft for the juices to really settle in the salmon. While the salmon cooks for 15 minutes, what we're gonna do for the mashed potatoes is box mashed potatoes. You guys are probably gonna think, oh my gosh, box mashed potatoes? Yes, box mashed potatoes. This is literally how the box mashed potatoes looks. Betty Crocker, I got it from Dollarama. I think it's like two bucks. It comes with two packages. This is how big it is. Depending on how much you eat, differentiates on how much portions it kind of can make. So basically, when this is around five minutes, I'm gonna make my mashed potatoes. I'm gonna do it off camera because it is pretty quick, pretty easy. It says what to do on the back of the box, so it's not hard. But yeah, and then we'll be back and I'll show you guys how everything looks. So there you guys have it, my finished meal of honey garlic salmon and mashed potatoes. Um, I know it's a big plate, it's just because I eat a lot, so I don't even wash it. I don't know if you guys can. You guys see that steam? Anybody could do it, of course. Make sure you guys hit that like button, type in that comment, and hit the subscribe button with the bell to know when I post. Also, make sure you guys go check out my other cooking tutorials. Link will be down below for you guys as well as all my other quarantine videos for you guys. But if you guys want me to make something in particular, I don't mind making it. It's just more you just guys, you guys just gotta let me know what.